the weekend, AFC Liverpool will be looking to get back to winning ways as they take on Ashton Athletic here at Valerie Park tonight. Reds manager Paul Moore has been hard at work since that defeat, signing four players, all of whom will start tonight. They are Georgie Robertson, the left back, Matthew Kaspari in the goalkeeper, Brian Wilkinson on the right wing, and returning to the club in centre back River Humphreys. Wilkinson into Williams. Turns away from a couple of potential challenges. Gets it back from Humphreys and looks up. Fires it into the feet of Wilkinson, who brings it under control, lays it inside to Wallace, who looks up, goes for a shot first time, and his effort wasn't too far over the bar. Sinnott looks up, long forward, flick on, sends it into the path of Brown, taking it a little wide, fires a shot into the near post and forces Brinkman to get down and make the save. comes all the way through to Humphrey, sets himself up for the half volley but blasts it over the bar. Stewart gives it back to Kane, he looks up, sprays a ball down into the corner looking for the run of Henley. He gets there ahead of Harris, towards the byline, keeps it in, squares it for Bailey but Kasbarian gets down but only sets it up for Ward, who knocks it into the corner to give Ashton Athletic the lead in their first meaningful attack of the game. Once Lee Henley got to the ball ahead of Sean Harris, the Reds were always in trouble. Kasbarian got down to prevent the ball reaching Bailey but he merely put it into the path of Ward who knocked it beyond Groves to give Athletic the lead. Harris receives the ball from Robertson and forces Warden in to concede in the corner. Wilkinson with a short corner looking to find Williams but that's wasted. Robertson no spares it but wide to find Brown. Cross towards the back post. Brinksman gets a fist to it. Wilkinson will pick it up though to keep the pressure on for AFC Liverpool. Cross into the box, flicked on towards the back post, there's Brown and Lawless will tap it in to draw AFC Liverpool level six minutes after they went behind. It's been a good response from the home side who could have easily have let their heads go down after going a goal behind. They've worked their way back into the match and got themselves back on their own terms. Chris Brown thought he might have claimed his first goal of the season but John Lawless turned it in to claim his seventh. Waldron finds Bailey, holds the ball up and waits for the run of the right back who takes over. Nobody's closing him down. Looks up, crossing to the box towards Stuart Wilkinson with Edda. It drops to Henley. Half volley on the turn and he isn't too far wide from giving his side the lead once again. started to come down here at the start of the second half as Athletic are on the attack straight away. Good sliding challenge though from Humphreys. Wilkinson though hands possession back to Athletic as he gives the ball to Berry. Skips a couple of challenges then finds Henley on the edge of the box. Faced by three players still manages to get his shot away. He isn't too far away from finding the far corner. down there, he sets it up for Williams who comes in with a first time strike, and he isn't too far wide. Lawless back to Williams, he's got plenty of room in the centre circle to find Harris out in the right flank. Harris takes on Waldron, beats him for pace, puts a lovely floating cross in for Brown, he doesn't get it off on his header, and a glorious chance to give AFC Liverpool the lead goes back in. 
Beautiful cross by Sean Harris and it was just begging to be converted. But Chris Brown got it directed on target. Berry's ball into the box and it's been spilled by Kasbarian and Bailey is there to hook it back into the net to give Aston Athletic the lead. And what a terrible mistake by the debutant goalkeeper. It seems such a simple take that maybe the weather's played its part as Kasbarian never got hold of the ball. Unfortunately for the keeper, Bailey was close on hand to snatch up the opportunity to restore his side's lead. Robertson with the ball down the line looking for the run of Brown, doesn't find him though. And Lawless has charged down the clearance, he's one-on-one -on -one with Brinksman, but he's put it too close to the keeper and Brinksman makes the save. Another great chance for AFC, Liverpool goes begging, and then they're going to rue these misses coming the end of the match. Cross towards the back of the area looking for Henley, but Robertson's there with the header. Whose control has been picked off by Berry. He doesn't get his half volley right. Referee's blown his whistle and he's awarded a penalty to Ashton Athletic. I can only assume that's a handball against Robertson. From the way he's gesturing, that appears yeah. to be the case. But no Ashton player appealed for a penalty. Not David Berry, who was on top of it. Not Lee Henley, who was right there as well. They both seem surprised when the referee blew his whistle. Looks like it's going to be Matthew Ward who's going to take the spot kick. No run up, but puts it into the corner, sending Matthew Kasbari in the wrong way. Balotelli style, cool as you like, and it's 3 1 to Athletic. Madden slips over in the wet conditions but does well to keep possession for AFC Liverpool. Gets the ball off Harris, turns away from a couple of challenges, looks to put it over Brinksburg and clicks it off of the bar. And it's almost an instant impact for Lee Madden, who's just come on as a substitute not 30 seconds ago. Sinnott in the centre circle has got some room to bring it forward. Quickly closed down by Bailey, he manages to squeeze it through to Madden, who does well to keep it under control after that challenge. Into Lawless on the edge of the box, creates some space for the shot on the turn, takes a deflection and it sends it just the right side of the upright. Come by Sinnott, there's Lawless, point blank saved by Brinksburn. And you just get the feeling it's not going to be a single Liverpool's day. Good win for you there tonight. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, a welcome three points. So it's always difficult playing AFC Liverpool especially here at, at Prescott. Um, it's always a difficult game, so glad to see the back of it, to be honest. So, cheers. Yeah, Whether the early storm then took yeah. the lead? Yeah, we di yeah, we didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Um, with the defeat AFC got on Saturday, we didn't know what reaction uh, we'd get from them. I kind of guessed it would be the one that we saw. It was a good reaction. Uh, Paul's had a good reaction from his players there. They've worked tremendously hard. I believe he's, he's got a few in for tonight as well. Um, so we really didn't know what to expect. So, so yeah, we weathered the storm. Yeah, went one went one nil up. Um, so it was uh, it was never comfortable, um, but I was always confident that we would go on and win it. Yeah. <laughs> Your view on the penalty? Do you think it was a penalty? I'm going to do the Arsen Wenger and say I didn't really see it. I, I saw the lad motion towards, he, he kind of overran the ball the way I was looking at it. He overran it and then threw an arm backwards. Whether he did actually touch it, I, I don't know whether the ref's got a bad angle on it, but I honestly didn't see it. I was surprised when, when he pointed at the spot, so that says it all, really. But I'm not going to say no to it. <laughs> uh, 
turning your season around, you had a tough start, but uh, then you yeah. did stop both sports in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, it has been a tough start. Um, I've taken over. I was the manager of Winsford last couple of seasons. Um, come to Ashton, nearer to, nearer to home. Um, it, it has been difficult. I can honestly say it has been difficult. Nobody stayed from last season's Ashton squad. Um, I brought a few lads up from Winsford and picked lads up here, there and everywhere. The first couple of games I, I thought was still on the learning curve with a few players. We have changed it round um, and it's it seems to be going our way now. Lads are working tremendously hard and um, they're uh, all up for the cause now. So, so we'll see. And you got the uh, FA Cup to look forward to on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a tremendous win in the last round. I never even looked beyond that round, to be honest. When we drew Stockport and what I'd heard about them, um, I couldn't look any further, you know, but we've got Lancaster on Saturday. After the win against Stockport, um, it was really, really difficult. They put us under a lot of pressure. Um, but the lads have dug in and there's a bit of togetherness at times with them and that's always through um, over the moon with the result. Uh, I watched Lancaster last night at Skennersdale. So we know what to expect. Uh, it's going to be really tough, um, but hopefully we can up our game and they might think, oh, it's, it's an easy one today. And that's the beauty of the cup, isn't it? Uh, so we'll see. Well, congratulations tonight and uh, good luck for Saturday. Cheers. Same to you guys as well. Cheers. Another defeat, but a better for performance. Well, yeah, there was a, it's a lot better than Saturday, that was for sure. Um, you know, I've had uh, one or two new players coming in, so I'll take that into, consult, uh, take that into consideration. Sorry. Um, you know, again, we've had plenty of chances to win the game, regardless of whether we've made a few uh, mistakes ourselves. Um, and it's at this moment, it's just not happening. Um, but we'll keep going. Uh, we'll just ourselves down. Uh, and we'll look forward to Saturday. Just uh, need to sharpen up at both ends. Uh, Chris Brown misses a glorious chance to put you 2 1 up. And then 20, uh, two minutes later, Matthew Kasbarian makes a mistake and you 2 yeah, 1 I down. I want to play Pat up front on Saturday. <laughs> she just scored the other, I think. Um, but he knows, I mean, it's his first game since he's been at the club, you know, where he's having his minutes. But it happens unfortunately in football, you know, he's uh, you know, it doesn't mean to miss it, he's missed it. Uh, you know, the, the the goalkeeper's coming in and you know he's he's made a bit of a rich. Uh, he knows what's happened. Uh, but again it's his first game, you know. I can't chop and change every five minutes, uh, so you know, but tonight was hundred and ten percent better from the effort and again we've created chances. Uh, we've created eighteen to their six. Uh, that's the fact. Um, you know, they scored three of theirs, uh, which two could have been preventable. And then um, me mate in the middle decides to give a penalty for some unknown reason. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to harp on about it, I said, but some of these officials, um, I just don't know. I just don't know what they say. I really don't know what they say. I went, I went up to a meet over referees and... I just don't know what he's seen in that penalty, I really don't. Uh, and with the both sides, to be fair, uh, he made some strange, strange decisions, but you know, you'd have to get in and bear it, unfortunately. Um, but I look forward to Saturday uh, immensely. Uh, the lads, you know, we've just had a little word there. They're up, they're, they're up for it, I mean, we've rested a few. Uh, and we'll just, like I said earlier on, we'll just go for Saturday uh, and make a little bit of history for our football club. Yeah, looking for a bit of a rub of the green on Saturday as well. Didn't get that tonight. Well, yeah, uh, I'd like to have a bit of rub of the green. Uh, but to be fair, I think the pitch needs cutting for a start. Um, I don't know. You can go in for all kinds of excuses, I suppose. At the moment, it's just not happening. It's just not happening at all. Uh, from a promising pre-season, it's, it's sort of wingling it back but you know again there's play players coming in the suspensions there's injuries there's all kinds going on at the moment and again once i get the settle side we'll be all right but saying that you know i mean the lads that play tonight you know to give me a, and the club a good effort tonight uh, so i'm pretty pleased and uh, not so pleased about the uh, the results um could have been preventable of course it could have been because we've made mistakes you know but when we've had the chances that we've had when we've had the chances we've had 
it could have been 7-4 or something. Uh, just tough period, just have to battle through it. Yeah, we've done it last year and we'll do it again. What are you doing now, Pat? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll battle through it. Uh, you know, I've got belief in the lads. You know, It was worse last year, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but, you know, as long as I've always said, as long as I get effort off the lads, I can't criticise. Uh, but we'll just go against that. Uh, no better way to spark a improvement in form and results than beating Prescott Cables on Saturday. I'm going to look forward to it, mate. Uh, because it obviously Prescott are our landlords. They've obviously been here sitting watching. They've probably seen the results Saturday in the, uh, in the last couple of weeks. But um, be prepared because we will be. Um, we're going to give it a right good go because, you know, whatever people may say, you know, we're going to create history for our football club come Saturday. Uh, tonight's gone. Let's look forward to Saturday uh, because I am. Uh, it'll be nice to put one over on the landlords. Um, I might just go and ask them to cut the pitch.